Ready? Ooh. Set. I didn't oh. know we was rolling. Hey, look, we're back. We're back. Welcome back. Welcome back. We, back. we got feel the real deal McMill in here. Present. Philip, what's the most exciting thing you've done since the last time you were here? Well, I actually found Cy a Domino's table that I'm excited about from 1876. They played when he domino? was a kid? They played this domino? thing was made in the 1876, <laughs> yeah, boys. It's about 140-something years old. <laughs> in the and, 1876s, because there's more than one of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, though. Really? It's from 1876? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, uh, and they like play dominoes in, or is this just a table that you can it's play just, dominoes? It's just on. a table you can play dominoes on, but it's got oh. a great story, and so uh, I've got all the background stuff printed out, and size going to like it. But you know, a dominoes table has to give a little bit; it can't be too solid. It's got to be able to withstand it. Or, this is actually too solid. Or you could do what has been done: break thumbs, break fingers, break domino, and even break tables. When you play them with the Robertsons. You broke a table? Oh, yeah. We broke tables, dominoes, windows. Because when you slam it, it slipped out of your hand and ricocheted. Window gone. The best move that size ever made on the dominoes table where I was present, we were actually, this is on our, our uh, fishing trip when it was 20 below. <clears throat> In Wisconsin. Yeah, and, and we had some guys playing and Cy had the last domino that would play and he asked everybody, can you play? No. Well, he already knew they couldn't play. Can you play? No. Can you play? No. He jumps up and he does a Superman onto the table. I'm not lying. He's flying across the table, slams it down. The dominoes go everywhere and we don't know what he had. We just knew the game was over. The board was locked. Cy, is that a true story? I said, hey, give me 25 and that's the end of the game. (laughs) <laughs> Count them up okay. Count them up boy <laughs> And I was laying flat out on the table And then I got up and I said I think I broke my hand That was a good one it on the table. That's what I've been up to Justin. Oh well that's cool 1876 is when the telephone was invented When the yeah. telephone was invented That's an old table I didn't oh, know Apple old. been around Ball Bell no, Alexander Graham Bell Ball Bell I Googled stuff that happened in 1876. Hey, Googled it, baby. What apparently, else happened? Apparently just one domino table and the... Uh, that was under the table. Uh, and the telephone. That's cool. And so I looked the guy up where they, they've actually got the date and the guy they shipped it to. And I looked his information up and I found everything out about this guy online. So I want to let Cy si read, read about who this guy was. The Reliable Extension Table. Mm-hmm. Patented May twenty first, eighteen seventy six. Manufactured for yeah. Is that like the famous Vonnegut? Well, mm. he, I don't know. He's see Vonnegut. Is that he's is, got a what, history? Is that is that Kurt spelled with a C or a K? Isn't that like a painter or something or a well, writer or something? I've also got a picture of. It. I don't know the timeline there. Weird that, that you knew Kurt Vonnegut off the That's top right. of your head. Like that was something we should all know about. That's the guy right there. He was That's born in 1922, I so I doubt it was for him. Oh, but this was for his, his great uncle, Clemens Vonnegut. Yeah, look up Clemens. Clemens Vonnegut. Clemens. He, had a look, he got a side look about it. Well, he got my head on top. <laughs> he ain't got no hair. <laughs> he didn't know nothing about Nutrafol. Uh, this dude's got a, hey. Hmm? This dude got a Wikipedia page. Wait. Yeah, that's he, him. Wait, he's the great grandfather of scientist Bernard Vonnegut and author Kurt Vonnegut. Yep, there you go, Martin. Martin knew that. He knew that. That is amazing. I'm impressed. I can't believe that. Look, all that useless knowledge piled up in this big old size right. eight head. That's man. the guy that made the table for. That is pretty wild. And That's it's, cool. It's on the way to your house. All right, there you go, boy. That's what's up. That's pretty cool. All right, now I will agree. I was thinking, man, that's kind of cool. It's from 1876. Now that's a really cool table. Like, that's. Hmm. Interesting. Who would I knew have it was thought, an author, an artist, or something. You like talk that. about a table, and he comes up with a name. Yeah. <laughs> well, when I saw Vonnegut, I mean, it's kind of an odd. Yeah, you know, it is an odd name. It's an yeah. odd last name. Yeah. So I was like, what are the chances? So, I'll, yeah, underneath it, it's got it's got this, I guess they stamped it in there in 1876. That's pretty wild. Yeah. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah, manufactured for and everything. That's, yeah. That's neat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
And it had to be from sometime around there because my man passed away in 85, apparently. Yeah. 1885, mind you. 1885. (laughs) And they mailed it to his shipping address, and so this guy's name came up. Where'd you find this? Uh, A friend of mine found it for me. Okay. And so. That's cool. We've been looking for a good table, and then the sides come out like this, and so it's got just enough wobble to it so you can, you know, play dominoes and shake them up real good. Look at Johnny D. What's why, I'm, what, I'm just lost. Are you okay? Yeah, there's a lot of knowledge I didn't have any idea there, about bro. getting just dropped on me yeah. at once. Yeah, <laughs> that's, uh, that's history. I, there's not many times since I've known you that you've been yeah, speechless. I don't, basically. I don't know <laughs> anything about any Vodigans <laughs> oh. or Domino's tables. How much am I allowed to ask this question? How much does a a hundred and fifty year old table run a man? It's in the five to six hundred dollar range. Okay. Yeah, it's not that bad. That's what I asked him. When he first said I found your table, and he when he said the date, I said, oh, oh, "Whoop, whoop, What's this gonna cost yeah, us?" Yeah, it's not. It's not too bad. <laughs> Five hundred ain't bad. No, no. Uh, that's Man. why you called me Friday looking for a check. <laughs> now it's all well, making sense. You had you had rent due for a said, table. I'm gonna go out. I find you a table. I said, "Well, I'll, I'll, well, I'll pay half." What do you even do to get that though? Because I just googled really old Domino's table and. You got to know people who I know antiques. Of, I mean, well, you can't just use any table. Yeah, no, right. some will hurt your hand. Yeah, it'll hurt your hand. It's got a gill. Why don't you just calm down a little no, bit? Oh, you while can't you play. do it. You like, can't do it. Oh, no. Hey, hey what do you didn't tell you about that game that I slid across the table? I get broke. Is I played three dominoes in a row. That's why I was asked the question. I did it the first time. I just went, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Game over. And I said, ho, 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 ho. All of them said, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? I said, okay, let me take them back. I took them back, got it set up again. I said, can you play? I went around the table. Can you play? No. Okay, here's the first one. Bam. I said, now, can any of you play again? Go on down the table. Nope. Bam. Then I said, then I jumped up. That's when I said, okay, it's, here comes full board. None of you can play because, oh, guess what? Wow. 25, the game's over. <laughs> Sai is really fun to play dominoes with as long as you're on his team. Yeah, you don't want to be on the well, other no. team. Dr. Dane found that out. Because if you're on the <laughs> other team, it's just very annoying. Yeah. <laughs> well, look. The problem is he's like, that same zeal he just gave you for 25, he yeah. does with 12, which oh, yeah. is nothing yeah. in dominoes. Yeah. yeah, which is like, nothing. It, it's just, I, I scare you anyway. <laughs> yeah. When I said 12, they said, wait, wait, wait. Wow. Yeah, I mean, and I say, wait a minute, 12 ain't, everything's in multiples yeah. of five here. Yeah. I said, I just want to see if you're paying attention. Yeah. So, so, I, he, so here, I said, I want to make sure you count to 12. I'm right. sorry, I just want to make I sure mean, you if, count. I, if I'm playing against him and he and, he and, and whoever, he, him and Al are partners, he says, okay, Al, these boys want to run blanks and fives. Here we go. And we didn't say nothing about running blanks and fives. He's going to run them. But he's telling his partner, hey, here we go. Right, you got any ready. fives? Yeah. Get ready. We think we're running blanks and fives <laughs> on these boys. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't have a game plan. I there guess I should learn how to play dominoes. You'd like it. Oh, I know yeah. how to it's play fun. chicken foot. It's really – here's what I'll say about dominoes. It's really easy to learn how to play. It's really difficult to play at the level that rascal plays at. And Jace. Oh. So it's like Jace all trying, I don't know. adding them up to fives and tens and then and figuring out what the other people got because you know yep. what dominoes are out and what you got. So, yep. you know, so you're blocking them and stuff. Well, you try, where, block them and lo- you try to block them and lock the board. You try to block them and lock the board because so you get the points in their hand too. So if you know they're heavy on sixes and you can lock that sucker up before they can dump any of them, you about to make fifty off of their hand. Yeah. So it's like. Yeah. So right. you and your partner are playing together. It's so. like chess with dominoes. Maybe a oh, little. Chess bit. ain't ain't like dominoes. It's a weird kind of spades deal. It's yeah, kinda, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. A, it's a spade like slash with hearts, dominoes. you know, but with 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 die or not whatever. It's, I guess dominoes bricks. Hard playing with us for a simple reason. Everybody, at the you're table, yelling at them we, the whole time when you say, "Wait a minute, I got to think about this." And everybody at the table said, hey, look, you ain't got but two plays. <laughs> yeah. You play six aces or six straight. That's only two you can play. <laughs> See, me and Cy and Philip and Goblin went on a trip together and played together. And Philip got Goblin. Well, me and Cy just steamrolled. They us. steamrolled because us. Because Goblin's like, huh? And Cy's si- and over there like, hey, play your 6-1. It's fine. Like, 
Yeah. It's size telling Godwin what to play. He ain't even looked at his hand. I knew we were in trouble when Godwin <laughs> got his dominoes and he lined them all up on the table and he was like, okay, and so I just, boom, all the dominoes fell over. Yeah. I said, you got the whole damn. I expose his, I've seen his whole way. I'm more of a Chinese checkers kind of guy. Oh, man. It's, it is. It's fun to watch. That's a, that's a fun game to play. I'm pretty good at it. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's think, a fun game. Look, I'm, I'm knowledge that I didn't know. It's just See? like you with Kurt Vonnegut. So here we go. There Let's take go. our first break, and we'll be back right after. Yeah, I'm on. Philip, why are you drinking that coffee? You must you you had to have had a good night's sleep. I had a your great. My I had 2.0. a great night's sleep. There's no reason to be drinking coffee. The My Pillow 2.0 <laughs> is your coffee. It allows you for a night's sleep. You're cool. You're not sweating anymore. That's right. This pillow doesn't turn yellow like all the other ones of mine because I sweat in the middle of the night. <laughs> nah, you ain't going to sweat with this thing because nah. it's 2.0. That's because it has temperature regulating technology. That's a thread and not a finish. So it's actually the fabric. It's not the finish. That way, when you wash it, you dry it to get it clean because your baby spits up on it. That You're not going to take all the good stuff off but, of it. It's still going to keep you cool at night. But it's always oh, to be cool. Hey. Everything's better when you're cool. That's right. That's right. true. Look. Hey, that's why you're so cool. Hey, how do you that's why I hang around you. Hey. He's made that way. That's his threads. This is Psy 2.0. You touch it, you get cool. Sleep on that 2.0, and then you'll be cool. Oh, uh, But the all-new MyPillow 2.0 from our friend Mike Lindell, the MyPillow guy, is the softest, smoothest, and coolest pillow you'll ever own. MyPillow 2.0 with temperature-regulating technology is 100% made in the USA and comes with a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. And that's a fact, Jack. I guarantee. Look, when you go to the website, you may decide, you know what? I want some of them towels that size always talking. There you go, mm-hmm. boys. Or, you, hey, look, you may have a pregnant wife at home. You need slip-on shoes. Those slippers, keep mama they having... are Brittany approved. 100% they're Brittany approved. I ain't even pregnant, and I love them. And you may just decide, you know what? I want my pillows for the whole house. You can get it all at mypillow.com. And if you go to mypillow.com slash duck to get the all new my pillow 2.0, right now you can get the all new my pillow 2.0 and you get the second one absolutely free when you use code duck. That's all you yep. got to do. There you got to. Again, just go to mypillow.com slash duck and use promo code duck for a buy one, get one on the MyPillow 2.0. Not one, but two. Or you can call 800 969 3137 and use promo code duck. Order now. Because when they're gone, they're gone, baby. I've noticed Al thrives in activities that aren't physically demanding. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, uh, no, no. If he can sit there. Yeah. Like, hey, he's scary at the domino table. If he hey. can step out of a golf cart, swing one time, go sit back down. Yeah. That's that's kind of where Al thrives. Yeah. He didn't get necessarily the athletic genes of his father. He got he got the athletic genes of Miss K. <laughs> he, he got more of the brain part power. I'm really just yeah, doing that so Al will fire back. Oh no, no. Hey, he, really he do got it? More well, the oh, brain he's power. a good he's a good sport and yeah. it's fun. He's oh, yeah. he's very he's very witty. You can't wear vests like that without being a good sport. That's oh, true. Absolutely. So hey, don't get on his vest. I always get on his vest. He looks good at him. Hey, you know what I did? See, and that's the problem. People like you tell him that, so he keeps wearing. Well, hey, no, he does look I like good his here. vest. He fills it out good too. He likes <laughs> big vest that he cannot lie. <laughs> wow, that's like the most low key no, no. way you've ever called him fat. Hey, no, that's no. cool. My wife, my wife hadn't seen him for a while. I was with you. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and she said, "Wow, my, my, you you done gained a lot of weight there, son." <laughs> she, she said, "You're fat." <laughs> yeah. He said, thanks, Aunt Christine. Yeah, that's right. I love you too, Aunt Christine. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> hey, Robinson, uh, anyway, Robinson's before, always before we get too far, look, point. you know, we we a small business. One of our listeners, Adam, just recently quit his job and started a kettle corn company called Lack Nothing. Um, there we go. And he sent us a bunch of it saying thanks for the Man. hours of entertainment. And so, if y'all want some popcorn, hold me one up. Carter loves popcorn. What? What? Do you have a flavor? Because he got. Like hey, that looks flavors. good. What you got there? I think that's got caramel mixed in on it. It looks does. like it does. With yeah. a little yeah. bit, of, over with a little bit of chocolate yeah. too, because yeah. it's called Ooh, Snickers. It. Caramel and chocolate. Oh, oh, man, that man. would have been a lot cooler if I had caught it. What else we got in the kitty? Do you have? I don't. What's Kettle Corn Company? Jerry, okay, that one must be Snickers. Dill Pickle. Yep. You want him? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. What well, kind of that? Gotta, if that's Keep really looking. his face on it, he's got a good look about him, too. So. Yeah. Look I like at, his style. Fine jalapeno. Yep. So that must be jalapeno. I'll give it to him. Yeah, I'll take I it. Claim dill pickle. Ooh. Uh-huh. Mm. There's just a regulation caramel. 
Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, let me see that, Martin. Oh my! I'm gonna swap out. Oh, is it good? Yeah. Last chance barbecue. It's an interesting. Cajun Kathy. <laughs> my Cajun man's got Cajun. some interesting naming, right? Call me Cajun Kathy. There's Ranchy Hodge, whoever Ranchy or Hodge is. Mm. Plain Jane. Okay, I, I'm Ew. picking up Wilson's White Cheddar. Cajun Kathy, bro. I don't know. Kate. Oh. There you go. You want Rickers? you need some sweet heat? How do you pronounce the name, John David? Snickers. And slacking Buffalo Ranch. Hey. Slappy? Snickers. Hey, we appreciate this, my man. <laughs> Lack uh, no I, thing. I, I, I like to put these away, or I'd be sitting here munching on. Oh, Adam. So there you go. If you like kettle corn, folks, look, I I, I really like if his logo is him, that's kind of tight. So Bruh. Lack nothing, sir. Bruh. Or you could say, Lack no thing. Do what you want to do. There we, there's our small business support for today. Yeah, there, so, there you go. That's cool. <laughs> I'm gonna save mine for the break. Is it good? Cajun Kathy be swinging. It's very good. Oh, you like a you like a girl named Cajun Kathy? That is good stuff, stuff there, bro. <laughs> oh. I'll take that with me when I go home. <laughs> the whole box? The whole box. Good green. No, no, I'm Size saying. spoken. My wife will love that. I would argue with him, but he is the first name on the page. I'm, hey, look, I'm definitely hey. second. Well, I better start eating. Good five. grief! I'm at the very end. Phil, you, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm way back. Well, actually, Phil, I wrote you in when I heard you were coming. Dad, I didn't want you to have your feelings right. Oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> that's my buddy Martin. I'm actually, Stone swimming anchor, but okay, good. That's because he knew he wouldn't eat this unhealthy stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought popcorn was healthy. very good. Well, I mean, yeah, if you like corn and sugar, it should be very good for you. I like it. Um. Cajun Kathy, legit, son. <laughs> no. Hey, Sai, what is that? He reminds you of Dr. Dean's playing dominoes with all that popcorn yeah. in his beard. Dr. Dean's a domino man, too? Negative. No. Oh, he was Sai's partner. And Sai oh. si, si was running. He'd be running. Sai si would be running fives or whatever, and he'd say, here we go, partner. And the Dr. Dean's would cut him off, and Sai would get so mad. <laughs> he said, hey, did you not see me bring that five? Don't cut my stuff, son. Yeah, yeah. Your own partner cutting your throat, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That's fine. You, you want, do we need to take another five? That's Cage and Kathy. Careful, Sai. You better have you some tea ready. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Johnny D ain't drank nothing. You want to try this? No, I'm good. I want a scale to one to ten. You I'm do. Gonna, I'm going to hit that jalapeno. No, this is better. I ain't had the jalapeno, but this is it. <laughs> si, what kind of ranking do you give it? We done turned this into an eating, eating show. So there you go. I want to call him up and tell him, hey, good job, son. Look, it passes their inspection. I haven't had any yet. Hey. All right. Uh, and the company is Lack Nothing Kettle Corn. So hey. Lack no thing. There you go. Small Business you Saturday. It's not do. Saturday, but like, I don't know. I was just trying. Yeah, yeah. I got to throw that over there. I'm going to eat the whole thing because it's so good. <laughs> hey, you know what I did this weekend? What? What? Ate kettle corn? No, but I'm oh. going to do that next weekend. Gotcha. Um, no, you're not because unless you go to Sai's house. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. that's my bag's almost gone. Um. <laughs> Have you ever put together a basketball goal? Yes, sir. Are you aware that it is not a pole, a backboard, and a net anymore? There are more parts to a basketball goal than I've ever imagined in my whole life. And there's like four bolts that hold it together. Like no. A backboard on, huh? No, no, there's like 472. I think so. He's got the new version. Oh, was- I want to see it. It looks Mine like I have to have a PhD goal. to put Let this me look thing. at it. Like you pull the pin and it go the spring takes it up and down. Oh. But yeah. I be, I thought I was like, all right, 10 minutes. So did you I'll get one done. of those is like you concrete in or did you get one that's got like the water in the bottom of it? Water in the bottom of okay. it. Okay. Okay. I was curious. But I didn't know what I didn't know that was going to be this this difficult. I was sweating. Oh, well it don't help that like Saturday was it was summertime here Saturday yeah. for, but for you like needed, 8 8 to 10 hours. It was hot. I was like, oh, no, I have not missed you. You needed like a mm -hmm. Ph.D. in construction management and four people to work with you to put this basketball goal together. So who would you have help you? Oh, Allison helped for like 20 minutes, and she left because the kids needed dinner or something. Like, I don't know. (laughs) And so then I'm holding it, and I finally got it together. But I didn't know they made them like that now. Yeah, you would have opted for the I'll come pick it up. <laughs> when I was a kid, if you wanted to raise or lower the goal, you had to get a broom and just keep hitting it. Absolutely. And if you screwed up and bent that little bar in between, it was over. It was stuck. It right? was Wherever it was. Life. Yeah. What, seven and a half feet up to ten feet, that's what you had. Yeah. Now it's like beep, 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 and it just does it itself. Really? Huh. 
So you got a fancy one. I, I didn't uh, maybe that's one. the way they I all think are. It's just, yeah, they, they get are. even fancier. I got one. You turn and it goes up and down. It's, it's got like a crank the, on it? Oh, yeah. It's from Academy. It's oh, awesome. That's cool. So I used, you've seen the one at my house before. You remember it? Nope. <laughs> now, Philip, when's the last time you've played on a 10-foot goal? Be honest. It's about seven foot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, was, hey. <laughs> I watched him play against uh, Carly over at Stones. Yeah. No, I, got, I got some she moves. Whooped him. Short she back, whooped huh? him, of yes, course. She, me. she strapped you? Yeah. Oh, no, well, that's does. all she's done is shot a basketball her whole life. I she, mean, that's, she really is. That good. used to be Stone's punishment. Like, go out there and shoot the basketball for two hours. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, so that was Ben's birthday. Right, this makes perfect, boys. So I put it up at 10 feet. Thank you. <laughs> throwing that kettle corn too far away for me to keep eating. So I put it up at 10 feet and was like, hey, man, there's your basketball goal. And it's kind of like, this is too high. So then I put it down to seven and a half feet, went inside, put my Herb Jones jersey on, just started dunking on them kids. It was the most fun I've had as a dad in a long time. I got a question since you brought that up. Uh-oh. How does these people jump that high? I don't know. But if you just pull this pin out on my Ooh. goal and barely touch it, it goes to seven and a half feet, and you just, whoa, whoa. I look like Shaq out there. I've seen little short guys. They can dunk it. Yeah. And I'm saying, wait a minute. I'm 6'3", and I can't dunk it. How in the world you being at 5'6", and you can dunk it? I'm just going to say you are definitely asking the wrong people. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can't jump. It's been a long time since so I could dunk a basketball. Could you? Mm-hmm. At one time you could? Yeah. Well, at one time I used to be in shape and care. You like, could, you've you dunked? <laughs> yeah, on 10 foot. You've dunked a basketball. 100%. I believe it. <laughs> I, I used to. I used to care. Like, but I ain't never even touched. The but I mean, I'm already three quarters of the way there. Yeah, you didn't even I play mean, basketball. Well, that's no, why. God, no, that's terrible. That's why when Shaq like, was playing, for I couldn't last shoot. Year, everybody said how great he was. Mm-hmm. I said, wait a minute, the man's seven foot tall. Okay, and weighs three fifty. Oh, oh yeah, this, but, but, this but, is your ridiculous statement. He pushes people out of the way and then right. puts this it is, in the net. Hey, that's Shaq's move. Hey, yeah, that's his. When they interview he Shaq, calls them. I'd have, if I'd have been a referee, Shaq would have never played but two minutes in the game. This uh-huh. is the ridiculous take that Shaq started. was no good at now, basketball. Shaq is awesome. He's bringing it back. He look, look awesome. when they interviewed him, he'd say, "I want to thank my teammates. Uh, I use my big boom boom." Get to the goal. <laughs> I heard that. That's what he said. Well, hey, I'm just saying. He uses his big boom boom. Yeah, he puts him out of the way and then just stick the ball in the goal. You wouldn't say that to his face. Yeah. Hey, he can't, but he's terrible at, at free throws, and so hence the hack a shack. What, no, no, what is it about that that big guys can't hit the free throw? Look, they're, they're shooting down. Yeah, they're, he's like throwing the ball from me to you. So, what? Now, you, you look at a guy like Shaq. Look yeah. at. I'm not comparing myself to Shaq. Look, a guy like me, look at guys that you know that are big. Say Burley, for example. Do we strike you as people with finesse? No finesse. <laughs> or or oh, touch, oh, I should oh, say. So finesse. <laughs> so finesse. Or do we strike you more as a battering ram? <laughs> shooting is – oh, okay. Right. <laughs> I understand now. Right. I'm just saying, like, uh, the, there's some things that just involve a little bit of touch. That Them maybe... Shaquille O'Neal shoes, he's hanging on the rim like this. Both feet in the air. Just yeah. Angry. Oh, yeah. Mad. He's I love one. Shaq. The only I thing too. I could do good in, in basketball was the hook shot. That's not true. I saw him make one. Yeah. One time. Half court. <laughs> Half court. He's one for he, – well, we've moved back a little bit. Okay, that's good. Uh, but we've – Hey, uh, nothing but net. Hey, you'd have thought I won the 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 uh, what is it World the Series, NBA the World Series championship, World Series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would think I had just won that when I made that shot. Didn't work. Well, hey, it was impressive. But I, you, I, the only person more shocked in the building than you was me. So, I'm hey, look, hey, I wasn't shocked. I knew I was going to make it. You, you're <laughs> lying. I, I, I knew ah, I was come on, make it. I've made them. I made him a You practiced for an hour before and hit the rim like twice. Well, hey, <laughs> yeah, but I knew I was going to make it before the night was over. I have seen him do some amazing things, hey. like when we were throwing those hatchets, and and he, you have to hit a dot this small, like the size of a quarter, quarter. and you've got to call your shot, quarter. and it's worth so many points. Yeah, twenty five. He points. had to hit it to win, and he's yeah. called his shot. We was down through the axe, and he hit that little. Spot that nobody dot, can hit. Blue he dot. said, "Hey." I said, "Hey, boys." I said, "We're no down job. to it." I said, "I got one throw left," and I said, "And we're we're behind by twenty points." So I said, "I got to go for the twenty-five." And I said, "There's a point." Yeah, there's a point system with axe throwing. 
and you can play. You got a regular bullseye target, and then on the sides, Mm -hmm. there's a dot the size of a quarter. How does it count? If you hit any part of that dot, it counts. If you put it in the dot, it's twenty five. You have to to hit the dot. If you miss it, I mean, you you, you get no no points. points. Game over. They lose. Right. We was down to it. it. We fixed to get beat. I said, hey, I said twenty five. Boop. Hey son, I'm talking about hey. Dead center. Well, perfect. Well, let's dead center this next break. We'll be back right Dead center. Si, where are you going this weekend? Yeah, I'm (laughs) going to uh, Longview. Longview, Texas. My friend Doug. Yes, that's exactly right. Beast Feast over at Yep. uh, Yeah, Doug's Church. Yep. John Johnny D got us lined up. Oh, that's where you got that brisket that time. Boys, y'all are in. Uh oh. Brisket. I need to text Doug and make sure he's going to have y'all this brisket. Hey, sounds good to me. Let me just tell you something. You're going to come back. I'm about to say something and you're going to be offended. Uh-oh. But then you're going to come back and tell me I was right. Are you ready? Hold on. Okay, go. Stone brisket ain't got nothing on this dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. 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 I said it? Oh, you done said a lot, boy. <laughs> I noticed you said it when he wasn't here. <laughs> oh, hey, I yeah. I said it? Yeah. I know ain't nothing wrong with stones. Whatever they doing over here at this place is well, wild. I, well, then, if they got it going on, I'll know. I'll tell the, you. The where he gets this from, apparently George Bush used to be like, hey, take Air Force One, circle around, put her down, get me some brisket, and we're going back in the air. It's big time. Okay. I think he should partner with our popcorn friend. Well, hey. I go with yeah. brisket popcorn, babe. Brisket, anything's real good. Oh, oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm texting them. What are you doing in Longview? I'm speaking to a congregation of young people. Yep. 500 men. 12 to 100. Uh, Isn't that what it's mm-hmm. What, 18? Oh, it's a men's group? Mm-hmm. Yep. It's, a, it's a beast feast. One of those. Yeah. Or, oh, yeah. One of those where they get all the men together. Manly men. And, and talk about being about, men for the. Yeah, and tell them about the coolest man I know. Which would be Stone? That would be Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Hey. <laughs> oh, Johnny D. Um, The brisket's already ordered, but back to Jesus. Okay, the I texted him. I said, I might have just made you buy brisket. And he said, already ordered. <laughs> Hey. All right. We'll bring you some back. You know how good I am at that. Hey. Oh, well, that's weird, but it is only Longview, so yes. Yeah, he puts he puts foods in suitcases. So <laughs> yeah, Kim, hey. but for real, though, if this brisket's that good. Oh, now Martin's on the bandwagon. Well, no, just tell him Doug needs to. Tell Doug, like, oh no, man, we're talking about your beast feast on the podcast. Like, that probably get more people there. Can you send us some brisket, too? Oh, yeah. No. Oh. I, we can I, wrap it in two I do anything for brisket. That's hey, what's Part of it to get here. <laughs> I guarantee you we'll bring part of it back. And my foot's caught in my headphone cord. <laughs> yeah. To- hey, look, look. While while we're at it, th- that's Friday. Yes. This airs Thursday. So if you're anywhere near Longview, you want to see Sai. You want to see Sai. Six o'clock, High Ridge Church tomorrow in Longview. Yep. Be there. You'll see Sai. And eat some brisket. Maybe. Do they feed them? I hope I'm not making empty promises. There. No, you don't get none of that brisket. Oh, that's for <laughs> that brisket. Right. Green room brisket, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what they fed them. I, my bad. Welcome uh, to the green think, room. I don't know. I, I, you'd have to ask Doug. But they're going to have good food. Well, something tells me, though, our folks from Longview already know about this brisket and where it comes from. Yeah, it's uh, called the Country Tavern. Country Tavern. Country Tavern. It's go. good. Oh, was it good? Hey. I, I like probably it. got pictures of it. <laughs> Good, a good I remember it was so meat. good. I remember you texting me saying, "Bro, I just had the best brisket I've ever had." Like that night, Willie like, Willie went full McMillan on it. Brought it home. Brought, like, hey, wrap that up. We're driving with yeah, back with it, that. Put it in a, box, put it in a suitcase. Whatever. I didn't get none of the extra. None of the take home. Hey, none of the take home. Mm. That sounds just like <laughs> my nephew. It does. When it comes to something good to eat, he well, will. But to be fair. I'm surprised he didn't lick all of it. <laughs> no, to be fair. Yeah, they've done that before, too. Yeah. I got my share <laughs> while I was. I said, well, this is my one chance to eat like this. Yeah, hey. About to put it on. And I did. There you go. And I loved it. What makes it good? Well, let's talk about what makes a brisket good. What What, uh, what it, about it? Was it the smoke? Was it the it good was salt, pepper, the garlic? Like. You know when you bite into like a really good pound cake, that's just soft, mm-hmm. 
and beautiful. And it's got the exact right amount of bourbon <laughs> and vanilla. And <laughs> I love that. Okay. Hey. It's the same. That, that's how that brisket there, was, boys. but it just had a little pull to it. You just. Okay. And it melts in your mouth. You don't I'm even have you. to chew it. You just put it in there and you say, oh. Well, I can confirm, Cy, that if you are nice, you also get presents because, you know, Anna listened to the podcast and I was nice about that peanut butter pie. Yeah. And I showed up here last Friday and I opened the refrigerator door. Oh. And there just so happened to be a peanut butter pie oh. in there that said then, Martin. Yeah, when well, you opened the door, it went, wow. oh. And the lights got brighter. Of course. I, there was a peanut butter. Uh, but I was nice enough to share because Sadie come walking in like 35 weeks pregnant or whatever she is. She got to be about ready to calve. And um, I said, do you like peanut butter? She said, of course I do. I said, have you ever had it in a pie? She said, nope. I said, you want a piece? Well, sit down, Sadie. Let's yeah, have, let's have a piece of pie it. together. That's something for, for you. Yep. And, and you know what she says? She said, whoa, that's good. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Whoa, whoa. Baby. There you go. That's hey. good. <laughs> Whoa, that's good pie. But no, it really was. Oh, that's good. Bro. So you don't have to badmouth somebody's cooking to get a good version of it either. You could just be nice. Well, like no, I was no, to Anna. Just, and know, she peanut shows butter up pie didn't pie. impress me. Like, yeah, you know, I was expecting something out of this world. That's what makes me really nervous about this brisket is because size food taste is not yeah. normal. Oh. Yep. Yeah. I'm telling you. Well, <laughs> here's the deal. <laughs> this has got to have so a good. good flavor. It needs to have a little heat in it. Okay. Okay, and then the meat has got to be tender, tender, tender. There you go. And you know, and size size scale when he tries to tell you about the food he's eating, because I've asked him several times, size that good? Tell me about that. It ain't bad. It ain't bad. Ain't much. It ain't much. It ain't bad. Nah. But he's never said that's good. Yeah. Unless it was a medium plus steak. Right. Hey, tenderloin. A medium plus tenderloin. You might not like this then. J Stone. It got some juice to it, son. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the juiciest brisket. There you go. That's another thing. Okay. Sop it up with a piece of toast. (laughs) Golly heaven. Oh, no. (laughs) Why we always do these on days I I don't know. Mm, Unreal. Well, let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. So I'm curious, what is the best thing you've ever eaten? We're on the food. That brisket's up there on mine. Is it really? It really is. Like, best thing you've ever eaten. Sorry, ate. I know you're asking side, but I'm still on uh, that brisket. Hey, it had to be the... Uh, now I can't even remember. What, it, what do I say I order my steak? Medium. Medium, medium plus. plus. Medium plus tenderloin that stone smokes. So that's the best thing you've ever hey, eaten. Like, uh, I, all I, the places you, we've been, okay. all the things we've done. 76 years old and a medium plus. Well, I've had it about, let's see, I've had it about 30 <laughs> times. And you got to think about this. I've had it 30 times, and it's always the same. Well, McDonald's, I've had that a thousand well, times. It, it's always I mean, the same. You, know, you can't find this. You won't get this anywhere in New York City. Well, no. Uh, well, hey, I'll take it. I'll even go further. You're not going to get this but one place. The J. Stone's house. Hmm. You could go worldwide and you will not find a tenderloin as good as this is. Nowhere. Interesting. I have spoken. Okay. I'm cool. Philip, best thing you've ever eaten. I would say me and Si were at Pearl River. Um, on an event, and we were in a place, a steakhouse called Phillips Steakhouse. Some people know about that. And they brought out a, a bone-in ribeye that was as big as the plate I had, and that was delicious. That's probably the best steak that I've ever eaten. But it's, it's the best thing you've that's ever the best, eaten. That's the best thing, yeah. Okay. I was just, and, I, we I mean, seem to be on a very beef-heavy train. Oh yeah, that's why I'm like... Yeah, trying yeah. to like make sure you know, like I mean, I can this t- this can be because oh, or... he just told me I had to go back a few <laughs> years when my daughter was at A and M. Uh oh, I go over there for her uh, marriage. Mm-hmm. Okay, they take us out to eat, and we go to it was called the barn, steak barn. Yeah, it was a barn that hey a person bought, cleaned it up. Okay, put a 
steakhouse inside this barn. And and they didn't cook but one thing. Steak. Okay. Okay. And I had you've seen these big big plates <laughs> about this big around? Mm-hmm. I ordered a steak that was three inches thick. <laughs> okay, and it, it was hanging it. off it was hanging off of that big giant platter. <laughs> so it sounds good. No, 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 no. I ate the whole thing, and then what I got through, okay, because it was perfect, I, t- I told the guy that paid for it, I said, yo, I could eat another. He said, well, order it. I said, no, no. I didn't say, yo. He said, if you want another one, order it. I don't mind paying for it. You didn't. I said, wait, dude. I, I just said I could eat another. It was so good. I said, the last thing I need to do is eat another five-pound steak. Five pounds. Unreal. Mm. Yeah. But, hey, look, they cook it on some kind of a different brush, mesquite or something, and then whatever they put on it, and it was perfect, medium plus. Now, you got to think about this. Three inches thick. How'd they get that medium? Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm serious. It was light pink right in the center, and it was hot. Sous vide. Mm. And, hey. It was the best. Yeah, that was that was in the same class as stones. All right, well, Johnny. While, while we're on it, oh, let me, let me oh, add to okay. it. Let right. me add Here to we it. Go. I like it. Go ahead. Because the quail that me and Cy ate down at Phil's with the fried quail legs yep. and then the quail that was wrapped quail in Quail legs bacon, was the hors d'oeuvres. That was the hors d'oeuvres. They f- Phil fried the quail legs, and Not then we feel. had the uh, grilled. Stone. No, no, no. Phil and Stone, we were down at Phil. Yeah, but it, yeah, but it was Stone doing the cooking. Yeah, Phil was doing some some kind of cooking. Yeah, he too. he done something else. He didn't cook the. Corn. But it was it was delicious. Yeah. So. Hors d'oeuvres was the legs, okay. Then he took the breast of the quail, jalapenos, cream cheese, and bacon. Mm. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh no 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 no. Look, man, and I, it was just, you didn't even have to chew it. This is just torture. For me. <laughs> well, you I didn't, didn't want have, to forget about that. You didn't even have to chew it. Okay? I just, you I, just I, hey, took it, took a piece with, you, <laughs> with a fork, put it in your mouth, and just thought, oh. <laughs> you were so fired up about the brisket, it just made me wonder, like, oh. what's the best oh. thing you've ever eaten? I legitimately think that brisket might be number one, but there is a, wow. there's another one on there. So me and Willie were in Minneapolis. And there was a steakhouse. Me and Willie didn't go to steakhouses. This was like, we'd go, we'd try weird stuff all the time. But it was at the hotel we were staying. It was called Manny's. And we're like, oh, we'll go there. It's pretty good. Next night, we're like, well, we're still here. Let's just go back downstairs. It's, we don't have to go find anything. And on the appetizer menu, it just said like bacon, 20 bucks. And we're like, that seems weird that it just says bacon. And so Willie called the waiter over and said, sir, um, what does the bacon entail? And he goes, it's just bacon. <laughs> and he bacon. was like, yeah, go ahead and bring that, because Willie just had to know. I know the guy was looking at Willie like, tell me, what do you mean? Yeah, I have pictures. Bacon. It was like one-inch thick bacon yeah, okay. cooked perfectly. Oh, it was praise like, God, that looks it was, good. Oh, no, no, no. It I was like a steak is. of bacon. Oh, I'll tell you what this Steaking. is. I wasn't even there, but I can tell you what this is. <laughs> Please do. Because, hey, when we was, when I was in the first grade and lived on, in the log cabin, mom would say, okay, go out in the smokehouse and bring me a slab of bacon. I would Uh go get the slab of bacon and then she would slice it thick, like that right there. Thick bacon. Okay. Oh, it just, ooh. My sweet heavens, that looks good. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> That's no, no. When I tell you that. I'm not even bluffing, man. Did. I'm like, oh. golly. Yeah. It was literally like an inch thick of bacon. Yeah. And then I ordered Willie like a slab of bacon. We couldn't quite figure out how they cooked it so like that's not easy to cook no bacon's like steak sized bacon but what if you manny's in minneapolis knew how that's wild because like one of my and i don't know where i would rank it but one of my top meals ever was in minneapolis minnesota i mean it was a place called the butcher and the boar like those are the places you don't forget like and they 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 it was a double cut pork chop or you know double bone pork chop and They had some kind of like blueberry drizzle over the top of mm. it, and I, I, 
Kylie, Kyle Tangwall. Kylie's back. Took me Kylie. there. He said, I found a little place. And they, but the, like, like what you had there with the bacon, they like made their own little craft sausages too. Mm -hmm. Buddy, I was like, this place legit. But I don't, that's what I've been sitting here trying to think of like my favorite meal. And there's like, I don't know how I would do it because there's there's just different experiences where I want to pull like a little oh, piece no, no, from no. that yeah, meal yeah. and put it with this one. Oh, no, no. <laughs> put it with that one and then have like the ultimate yeah. meal. Like, and you can. You just, that, yeah. you just said that. I went back to Germany. The first time I ever had one. That spaghetti you had? The no, I'm kidding. <laughs> tacos. Talk. No, not tacos. Bratwurst. Oh, bratwurst. Sausage. Oh, real German bratwurst. Yeah, sausage. Yeah. Okay. They're either either the white or the red. Okay. On hard bread. Okay, with the hot mustard. They know what they're doing. Smash. Oh. No, no. Smash. Oh. <laughs> I would kill for one right now. Ah uh, man, I'm I serious. love it. And they've got them all over the cities. All they are is a little like a, a wagon. Yeah. The guy carries around wherever he wants to set up. Mm. It cooks them. I love it. Yeah, because I mean, like I'm thinking, like right now, like my grandma's fresh fried okra from mm. her garden. Like I fry okra That's too. Great. I I can never get the batter on it. Like she got. It. I mean, never once. I've you done it a will. million times. No. No. Hers was always perfectly coated and like beautiful, and it was so good. No, no. so Crunchy. good. And every time I get it, like half a batter falls off. I mean, it's still good, cause I, but it ain't that. Yeah. I'm like, man, if I could put that with like some. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Oh, man. But right now, I could eat a dozen. What? Okay, they start oh, the bratwurst? And that, you know, Bacon, steaks, so, who knows? When, oh, we, yeah. when we were in New York, uh, we saw um, one I of the. another one. <laughs> We saw how oh, no. <laughs> it was a hot dog stand, and that said bratwurst. Hello. And so Sai sent me down there. He said, "He said, go get us one apiece. You, you, these things are delicious. I've had them before, you know." Mm -hmm. So we got them, and they were expensive. But when we started eating them, nope, it was not it. It's not the same. Huh. Yeah, mm -mm. I got it. Not all bratwurst is created. Oh, right, for sure. right. I'm, I'm not gonna Ooh. put this photo on the screen, but there's also a picture of this one. And it was some little Italian place in New York, and me and Willie went. And Willie's like, hey, Johnny D, just get the chicken parmesan. Trust me on this. And then they brought it out, and I was like, oh, they got my order wrong. That's not chicken parmesan. That's a pizza. Wrong. That's it, pepperoni. It was a chicken parmesan put out so flat, fried, perfectly crispy. Then they put a pe pizza toppings <laughs> on top. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> Uh, Martin, fried like, chicken I don't know that the thoughts that I'm having right now are sinful, but they feel that way. <laughs> when I tell like, you, <laughs> it was I mean, so I'm good. just saying, I I, I'm not I love, even. I love it. We go from one to the other. So look, <laughs> in Germany, okay, the Brockworth was just out of this world. But I went to a restaurant, okay, and I, I'd always order pizza. They're 14 inches pizza. Uh huh. Okay, and I but would. But that's chicken. Like that right there. But that's chicken. <laughs> that's a, that's know, fried but, chicken. Hey, mine was pepperoni, okay? And I would literally, they were so thin, okay, you'd roll them, and I'd eat it like a hot dog. <laughs> and I would order three. So you were the inventor three. of hot dogs. Oh, no, 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 no. I would, I would order pockets. three of them, and, and every time I'd done it, the first time I'd done it, the lady said, no, 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 no. I said, I said trust me. <laughs> yeah. I done ate here before. Yeah. Give me three. He said, I can't. And then one day was watching me eat them. Oh no! It, it take me like three minutes to eat all three of them, just like a pig. I can't quit staring at that chicken with pepperoni and cheese. Oh no 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 no! It was it was it you was. You didn't have to there. chew it. You didn't have to chew it. It just melts in your mouth. You swallow it. Mm. And flavor. Oh goodness! I wish I could figure out the name of that restaurant, but. New York City's a big place. That, very man, big. I could walk straight to it if I was there. Though. I remember <laughs> that place. I'd be like, that's where I'm going. Everybody out of my way. Another thing the Germans do that I love, at each restaurant, they all make their dressings, homemade dressings for your salad. Oh, so they all make a house dressing. Oh. That's their specialty. And at one of them, I, I ask them to, every time I go there, please give me this that, this, this recipe. recipe. Because that's what I got to eat. And they would have them, uh, like, garden with the bread, little mm -hmm. bread. You just sit there and hey, smash. Give me five 
give me five of them sticks, you know, <laughs> and put put the, the dressing heavy on what I got because I wanted it in the bottom one when I got through eating. Yeah, they the do a little sopping. Hey, yes. yeah. Oh, I've seen him do it. Oh. I've seen him do some well, things, Martin. Oh. Well, while we're here and before that gets Whoa. any worse of what it's doing to me, <laughs> let's take a break. We'll be back right after. Yeah, I understand. I found it. I was just hoping it was look, look, another look. city Here, that here's maybe there. Closer. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh it went away. Oh, I don't want to look at that crap. I, I smash out. Oh. There's oh, the one. That's there you go. that's the one they tried to take a picture of. This was just a Tuesday, son. That's when they were trying. Oh, gosh. All right, I got to go to work. Mm. Emails. Let's, 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 let's email. Ugh. All right, before we all just go be gluttonous. Tratorias. I figured Tratorias, it out. Right. New York City. Go there. Across from Carnegie Hall. Um, but what's in that? What's in that? In, I'm sorry. <laughs> he can't get his mind off of food. Get the music. I didn't know you could combine fried chicken and pepperoni. <laughs> That's like. <laughs> I mean, yes. Amazing. I, don't, I mean, I get it. He's I just blown I'm, away. I'm really you low key. Look at a chicken parm. You're like, why couldn't that be a pizza crust? And chicken these people said. I wasn't Let's go. Ready and for. I'm low key mad. I've never done it myself. I wasn't, I wasn't <laughs> what we was expecting when you said like, Parmesan. And this is, I did not plan this. Okay. But are you ready for this? I, I always. One of my favorite places also I've ever eaten when I was in college, I was in a place called Galway, Ireland. Okay. And it was called McDonough's. And it was just fish and chips and it was awesome. And then while I'm sitting here five minutes ago, Galway, Ireland emails in. What are the odds? Are they at McDonough's? I don't know. McMillions. Rory, email me back and tell me if McDonough's is still open and send me a double X t shirt. I got a medium back then. It does not fit, and I think I lost it too. Okay. That place was legit. <laughs> Any Hoosers. Double X. Rory emails in and he thinks we should do a joint podcast with the unashamed people. That is too many humans in a room. <laughs> But hey, y'all can. <laughs> but, uh, Phil, yeah, Phil's going to do the talking. But he wants to know what Bible Phil uses. Do you know that answer? NIV. It used to be Thompson Chain Reference NIV. I don't know if it still is. Thompson or not. Chain Re- Man, you got deep over there. Do you know how many uh, times what, I answered that question in the got, customer service department of Duck Commander? That's cool. Uh, and where all we recommend? Start reading. New Testament. Go. I was told by Jace the book of John. I, I like so, that. That's where I started. Um, that way you're going to find out about the man. Yep. I would not start in Genesis or Exodus. Well, you're talking about <laughs> old old covenant and new covenant for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I would well, definitely start with New Testament it, to catch you up on where we are today right. and then go back for the history lesson later. Yeah, I'll think what I, I would, would do. go with the New Testament. Yeah. Yeah. And get the history later like Martin said. Yeah, 100%. And the book but, of John is a good one because it will tell you about the man. And you have to remember, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, it's under the old covenant. The new covenant only starts with Christ's blood. So the new covenant, you can when when you can read the book of Acts. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Acts yeah. of the Apostles. There you go. Thanks for tuning in from Galway. From Galway, Ireland. That's a cool place. They got Ireland. Cliffs of Moore. That's a cool place. Anyway, that's tight. Somebody from Ireland sent us an email. That's still wild. Like, I know we've been, it's 2023 and we can do all kinds of weird things. Like, you know, like, I'm a kid in school in 1994. I'm like, I'll never talk to anybody from Ireland. And we just, you know, we kind of had a conversation. That's cool, man. My dog's name was Dublin. Yeah. Any Hoosers. Dublin. That's on the other side. Hey, he's the biggest dog in town. He's doubling every day. <laughs> there you go. Sorry. Somebody get Godwin back. Yeah. Uh, staying <laughs> on the food train, Willard from Kentucky. He recently got uh, one of those grills you're fond of, Martin, a pit boss. Oh, go ahead on, Willard. No, you've done some videos. Yep, several. He said he needs a brake pad recipe because you've heard him talk a lot about some chicken thighs. Oh, them thighs? How you cook a chicken thigh, Martin? Tell us about it. This is another food episode of the Duck. All right. So I like to take chicken thighs and I put them in a little pan, and I put a little, I put a little, excited. I put a little chicken broth in them, and then I turn them upside down. So I put them skin side down in the pan in the broth, and then I will put them on a smoker covered for about at two fifty or so for. An hour or so. So basically, you're kind of like 
you're boiling some of that fat out okay, of the. You're in, you got them in a pan. Yeah, I got them in like a foil pan. Okay. So like you're basically kind of like boiling some of that fat out of the thigh skin. Okay. This comes in key later, but you're infusing it with chicken broth, the actual broth from the chicken. So not that the thigh needs to dry out, but what we're going to do to it is going to get it there. So then you take that guy, after he's done that for about an hour, you're looking at pan, see how much fat's rendered out. This is all a visual thing, so I can't really, there's not a for sure time depending on the size of the chickens that were butchered and all that kind of stuff. But then you take him out of there, and you, you get him out, and you, you let him, I let him cool to room temp so that that skin gets all the way back around that chicken, see, because we just got rid of some of that fat. So now the skin will wrap all the way around that whole chicken thigh. And then we start the seasoning process. We put whatever rub you like, all that mm. kind of good stuff. And then we go on back to the smoker. After it's got back down to room temp, we're going to get it back up to 165 on the internal temperature of that thigh. You still got it in the pan? No. Now it's just on sitting grill? on the smoker. Yeah. Okay. But now I put the bone okay. side down to give it a little protection so that that oh. skin gets even tighter around this chicken. You see where I'm going? Yeah. Like okay. We're we <laughs> we doing some things here. And then after, once it gets to 165 internal, then I take and put whatever sauce you want on it and all that kind of, because I don't like dry rub chicken. I like, I, chicken's one of the things I do like sauce on. So if you want to make you a barbecue sauce with W sauce, that's great. If you want to make, if you got a one, if you love sweet baby rays, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Don't let these purest of the social media world yeah. steer you wrong on that. Sweet baby rays ain't bad. And then you, once you get that, so see, once you bite it, you grab that chicken thigh by that, that, that bone right there. Well, now the skin's holding the whole thing together. This sounds good. And so when you go, it comes apart. You pretty much ain't got nothing but bone in this hand and chicken in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. And it's one of the best things you could ever have. Mm. Uh, that's my brake pad recipe. You've though. told that story before, sir. I'm very fond of it. I do love them brake pads. Those brake pads are good. That's the thigh for all y'all that ain't been following along. That's the chicken thigh. I had chicken thighs for lunch. Oh, from Factor. There you go. So they put little chicken thighs on chicken thighs on something. I get down that. Look, hey, I found McDonough's. They're still around. Look at you. It's there, boys. It's been there since 1902. Great fish and chip place. We don't have those here. You got another quick email? Or? Uh quick one. Uh, Maybe this is interesting. All right, Mark from Bristol, Tennessee. All right, he's been doing some math. Thunder Valley. Thunder. <laughs> Thunder Valley. I like it, Martin. How many minutes do you think yeah. we've sat in these chairs and recorded? This is pretty cool. Is this going to make me sad? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> we spent a lot of time uh, together, buddy. So 60 at a time. What are we on? Episode two? Don't do the math. That's oh, well, why not? Because uh, he did the math already. 240, so 240 times 60. I can't even do 240 times 60 on math. Do, I can't do 100 do times 60. I'll give you, a, I'll give you a hint where to start. Three. 1,200 hours. 14,000. Whoa. 280 80. minutes. I was getting there. I was getting to 14,000, but not. Yeah. Also, 14, add another. 280 minutes. Uh, what you don't know is that we're, we're three in the hopper right now, so we can add <laughs> another 180 to that. Ah, yeah, getting yeah, closer to 15,000 minutes all together yeah. as a family talking about brisket, chicken parmesan, chicken. Thigh. Is there in? But there's none of us that have been in every episode, right? No. So it's highly very. It's, I almost died. I almost died. You almost died. Yeah. Well, we <laughs> all checked on us. <laughs> <laughs> we had a break there for a minute. That's true. Yeah. So, yeah, that's wild to think about, though, that we've done this for that many minutes collectively as a... Wow. Now, so then if you take that and multiply it by four... Whoa. Whoa. Uh -oh. For each Ooh. one of our... The oh. amount of time taken oh. for each one of our lives, yeah. then that's when you get sad. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm How kidding. many weeks is that? Hold on. Oh, here we that's go. That's actually... So, what episode is this? Hunter! 240. 240. 240. Well, that's easy math. We've spent 10 days doing this. There you go. I was about to put in 240. 10 days? 24. Yeah. 10 days. 10 days. 10 full days. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be it. We've decided <laughs> to quit. <laughs> Oh, you got 10 more in you. You know, the crazy thing is that's what they see edited. They have no idea how much time we sit here and just goof off. And just listen to side tell stuff. stories yeah. that can't be told. Yeah. <laughs> and we're not rolling. There you go. But And well, then one more, one more, one more. Go ahead. Please join us for the wedding of Ethan and Nicole. They sent us a uh, wedding invitation, and they'd ask us to RSVP. I don't know that we'll make it. Congrats. Uh, Congratulations. But in August, they're getting married. 
What day in August? The 18th. Oh, I was hoping for the 26th. I think that's, no, it's the day after my mom's birthday. So si, we're going to be in Hawaii. Uh-oh. We'll tell you about that next time. That's right. Why are y'all going to Hawaii? We got something big going on. We got something big going on in Hawaii. <laughs> it's the same place y'all stayed when y'all were filming. Yeah. Sorry, Philip. The, the characters Martin Goblin got left out of that show. It's the one we were missing. I like it. You got to go to Scotland, though. I like it, Yeah, it's been two weeks. Send us out of here. I, I, was Wrap trying, her up. I was wrapping her up. Wrap it up. John, 635. Question. What's the best food you can ever have? Then Jesus declared, I'm the bread of life. Mm-hmm. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. There you go. Best food and drink you can ever have, Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. We didn't even plan that. No, there you go. Excellent. See y'all next time. We're out. <laughs> I love so it. So long. So long.